experiencing no internet connection with your EE broadband? Don't worry, most connection issues can be resolved with a few simple troubleshooting steps. Let's get you back online quickly. Step one is to power cycle your smart hub. This simple restart resolves many temporary connection glitches and is the most effective first troubleshooting step. First, unplug the power cable from your smart hub. Then wait exactly 30 seconds. This gives the device time to fully reset its internal memory and clear any temporary errors. After 30 seconds, plug the power cable back in. Your smart hub will take a few minutes to fully restart and reconnect to the internet. Step two is checking all physical connections. Loose or damaged cables are a common cause of internet connection problems. Check that the broadband cable is securely plugged into both your smart hub and the wall socket. Ensure the power cable is firmly connected and look for any visible damage to cables that might cause connection issues. Step three is understanding what your smart hub's broadband light is telling you. The color and pattern of this light provides important diagnostic information. A solid blue light means you're connected to the internet and everything is working normally. This is what you want to see. A flashing orange light means your smart hub is trying to connect to the internet. This is normal during startup, but if it continues flashing for more than 15 minutes, there may be a line issue. A red light indicates no broadband signal is being detected. This usually means there's a problem with your line that requires further investigation. If these quick fixes don't resolve your connection issue, you may need additional troubleshooting. Look out for these warning signs that indicate a more serious problem. When you see these symptoms, the problem likely requires line testing or professional support to resolve. Don't worry, these issues are common and can usually be fixed quickly by EE's technical team. When basic troubleshooting steps don't restore your internet connection, it's time for advanced diagnostics. The first step is performing an automated line test using EE's built-in service. This automated service will check your line for faults and connection issues. The system runs comprehensive tests on your broadband line and provides immediate feedback about any problems detected. For a more detailed analysis, dial 17070 option 2. This service allows you to listen directly to your phone line and detect any noise, crackling, or interference that could be affecting your broadband connection. If line tests show no issues but problems persist, a factory reset of your smart hub may be necessary. This will restore all settings to their original state and can resolve configuration conflicts. There are specific situations when you should contact EE support rather than continuing to troubleshoot yourself. These include persistent hardware issues and performance problems that basic fixes cannot resolve. First, if you see a persistent red light on your router after trying all troubleshooting steps, this indicates a hardware failure that requires professional attention or equipment replacement. Second, if your internet speed is consistently below 50% of your advertised rate, this suggests line quality issues that require technical investigation. Third, Frequent disconnections occurring more than once daily indicate unstable line conditions that need professional diagnosis and repair. When you do need to contact EE support, you can use their remote support app for video assistance or call their technical helpline. They now offer enhanced diagnostic tools and can often resolve issues remotely. Finally, remember that EE is prioritizing full fiber connections as they phase out older ADSL services. Ensure your setup is compatible with fiber technology for optimal performance and future-proofing.